the Sox starting pitching has been rocking since that win streak has started. The Sox starting pitching ERA is a buck 47. That's third in Major League Baseball behind the ridiculous Dodgers. Michael Kopech on for his sixth start. His ERA a minuscule 117. 23 strikeouts in 23 innings. That's awfully good. Right-handers might as well not even bring up a bat. Left-handers have done a better job. First pitch swing on the ground. Moncada's first crack at it. And out number one here in the first inning. That's everything you could have ever wanted in a first pitch. Juan draws a walk. Juan has now walked 12 times and has struck out just nine. That ball's in the air, right field side. Gavin Sheets makes the catch. Two down. Quan dancing off the bank. There he goes. What a jump. Throws not nearly in time. A strike taken by Miller. I mean, Quan. Kind of was dancing to the point he started, stopped, and still then kept going. And Kopech never paid any attention to him. Quan has his first major league stolen base. There's a ball hit toward right field. Sheets coming in. Drops oh. the ball. The Guardians will score first as Quan comes home. Into second base is Owen Miller. Gavin puts the glove up and then just misses it. Gavin Sheets looked at his glove when he dropped it as if to say, huh, this glove must have a hole in it. I mean, I, I thought it might drop in front when it went off the bat, but when I saw he got there, he might have taken his eye off it. Now he's a first baseman, but he's playing right field, but it's a very catchable ball. Got him looking with a nasty slider to end the inning. Zach Plesak is going to be the starter for the Guardians tonight, making his sixth start. Now, Zach has been getting behind. His control hasn't been up there. A lot of pitches have been up in the zone. Let's see if he can stay behind the ball, stay behind the rubber, and get the ball down to this team. Swear on and missed. He went chasing. Anderson strikes out one away. As we listen to the reception for Yohan Moncada. Batting second to third baseman, number 10, Yohan Moncada. Moncada making his season debut, steps to the plate right now. Two strikes. And it hit him. The on base percentage is a thousand. The bruise percentage is a thousand. They're loaded up. We'll see Robert to second. Moncada stays at third. Brandall to first. Gavin Sheets, who dropped the ball in right field to enable Cleveland to score, will bat on 0 and 2 from Plesak. That gets away from Hedges. And the Sox have tied the game. Normally, Hedges keeps things inside in front. That one got away, and we're tied. Yeah. And Gavin hits a bullet to right field. This is gone! An absolute missile from Gavin Sheets. That's how you atone for an error that cost your club a run. You hit a two-out, three-run homer to right. It's been a long time coming for Gavin. He's doubled his RBI production from three to six. And the Sox have a three-run lead. And just like that, the White Sox have a huge first inning against Blizak. Cleveland has had three base runners, but no hits to this point through four for Michael Kopech. One, two. Check swing. He went on a pitch in the dirt. McGuire will collect it and throw to first for the out. Nice there job of hitting by Rosario. Pulled the hands in. Yeah, he hit the breaking ball. Very nice. That snaps a string of 11 in a row, retired by Kopech. It's a hard smash off the chest of the oh, third baseman, hurt. Moncada. And he throws it away at first. So on his way to error. third goes Rosario. And now the Guardians have a chance with runners at first and third and one out. This is interesting. That ball was smoked. And I mean, it got Moncada in the chest, and he didn't move after that pitch. So his partner, Anderson, tried to pick it up and throw it to first base, throws it wild. So some trouble here for Kopech. First and third, one out. White Sox lead four to one in the fifth. In the air, first base side. Jose in foul territory makes the catch, and that is a big second out for Michael Kopech. With two out, Quan pumps this ball to center. Robert has room, and he's got out number three. Kopech pumped up. 
as he works around the error and two Cleveland hits. So Michael has a three-run lead heading into the sixth with their most dangerous hitter. Center field, Robert tracks it and has room. Good time to let him take his best ball to center field. Two and two. Oh, he's got strike three for you at 97. He comes right back over the corner. Nice job of framing by Reese. Nice call by Charlie Ramos. Three and two. Yeah, he busted him at 96. He's got seven strikeouts. Joe Kelly making his first appearance of this young season. Two and two. Yep, struck him out. Joe Kelly's first White Sox strikeout. So two on, two out, and Miles Straw the hitter. Two and one. Broken bat grounder. Joe Kelly's going to run to the bag himself. Boy, he saved up a lot of energy from the start of the year. He's always got quite a bit of it anyway, and he took it himself. Here comes Tim with a man on and one out. And Tim swats it to right center field. Straw back at the track. This is off the wall from Tim Anderson. Super Joe waving fiercely to get Garcia home, and he scores. The Sox do add on on a Tim Anderson double. So Stephen Kwan will be off and running at first base on the 3-2 pitch to Naylor. And there goes Kwan. And Naylor shoots it to left field. That's going to get down. Quan's racing into third, and Sarbaugh will wave him home. A run is on the board here for Cleveland, and in the second base with a two-out RBI double is Josh Naylor. High in the air to left field. Rosario drops the ball. He just flat out dropped it in left field, and the Sox have two on with one out. Two and two. A.J. hits it high in the air to left field. Rosario back at the track, at the wall. It is gone! Just enough for so very much. Eight to two in the eighth. Seven, eight, nine, due up for Cleveland. Andreas Jimenez leads off. And Jimenez with a high fly ball, deep left center field, and it's wow. gone! A home run! That ball had some carry to it. Home run number three on the year for Jimenez. Holy smokes. The ball just kept going. So that'll bring to the plate Ahmed Rosario. Two hits tonight. And now Ahmed Rosario clubs one in the left field. So he's got a three hit night. And they throw it away. And Ahmed's just going to keep on going. He'll go to second and he's going to go to third. And the throw is not in time. So. A two wow. base throwing error. Uh, second error of the game on Tim Anderson for yeah. the second time this year. Right. It should be. And this Cover one's run. kicked around. Oh my God. Mankata can't contagious. make the play. Another run has scored. And there's still nobody out. Two on and two out in the ninth. And here comes Tony. Yeah, that's enough drama for Tony LaRussa. So Liam's coming in to nail another one down with one out to get. The bases are loaded. Cleveland doesn't want this one to end just yet. Oh. Naylor with a high drive. It is deep. How it about is it? gone. A grand slam for Josh Naylor. He jumps Liam Hendricks, and we're tied at eight in the ninth. How about this? And the sloppy defense of Chicago proves costly here in the ninth. Now suddenly the Sox have the bases loaded. Two out for Adam Engel. And a great play by Ramirez to throw to first. Oh, oh my baby. goodness. Naylor with an outstanding stretch to save the game. And we will have extra innings in Chicago. A look at second, the pitch. And he rips it to third. Fair ball down the line into the left field corner. Clement will score. Jimenez in with an RBI double. And the Guardians have the lead by a score of 9-8. to eight. Cleveland has now scored seven unanswered runs in the last two innings. On the ground, Tim. 
That's it for Cleveland in the 10th. So the Sox will have the tying run at second with nobody out. They're at the corners with nobody out. The batter is McGuire. Little topper on the infield. Run's going to score. For some reason, Passe wheeled around and fired to the plate when he had an easy play at first and no play on the runner. Everybody safe. It's 9-9. One down. Runners at second and third. Ground ball to short. Jimenez comes home. They get the out there. Two down. That's all you're looking for. Give him a good feed. He kept his foot on the plate. You get the lead runner. To short, Jimenez goes to second for the force. And will go to the 11th. Tied at nine. So Josh Naylor gets to try and do some damage again. Two on, two out, 9-9 nine, nine in the 11th. Naylor with five RBIs in his last two at-bats. He clobbers another one. Deep right field. Back his angle. He's out of room. It's out of here. Naylor's done it again. Yes, indeed. A grand slam in the ninth. A three-run homer with two out in the 11th. Boy, has this guy been just money. Look and at him. Eight RBI night. And the White Sox down to their last strike. And the 3 2. Strike three called. Book it. Maybe the most improbable win in a long time for this ball club.